sails of your filth once and for all. Oh, what a shot. Ever will. World of Warcraft Cinematic Journey continues. Today, we're covering the second character in our Harbingers series called Harbingers Gul'dan. Cannot wait, as I really, really enjoyed the last Harbingers. It was super, super good. Where we watched Dadgar, I mean Cadgar, excuse me. If you're enjoying our time together, please consider checking out some of the other videos on the channel, including the World of Warcraft Cinematic Journey. Let's begin. Lore Masters, join me in battle once again. Yes, and thank you everybody who's hopped into the Discord to join the World of Warcraft section. Whoa, what an image. There's that Legion identifier. Harbingers, hold on. Whoa. Sounds like Mongolian throat singing. You hear that? Really cool. Wow. Visceral. You refused your place in this clan. Now, Great we voice. rid ourselves of your filth once and for all. Get it over with. So, even now, you test me. Enough. Whoa. So this I is... have tried to help him find his place among us. Is that Jim Cummings? I failed. Gul'dan. There is nothing more I can do for you. But no, You're I right. have always believed there is greatness within you. I love the different, Seek like, out the throne of the elements. facial personalities Perhaps of the horse. There, you will find your destiny. Okay. Be gone, cripple. What? You are cast out. In the wastes, you will understand so what it means to have no people. I love how there's like no color. This is gray and brown. It's just like dilapidated, the entire image. Oof, man. Rough. So he had a really bad life. From Hold childhood, on. my deformity made me a target for mockery and dismissal. That's a shame, man. I knew man. I was meant for more than the clan would ever allow of me. And I That's cool, though. For it. That he's like, oh, I was meant for more. I like that. months, alone and starving, I began to consider that wow. the safety and shelter of a clan might be better than endless suffering. Oh, man. Huge birds of prey. Ah! Okay, you still got some strength in it. The bitterness that had sustained me all my life ate at me. Amazing until voice acting. Nothing was left. What a shot with the sun cresting him like that. That was a great shot. In my weakness, the words of the old shaman pierced the cold. Oh. Seek out oh, the design of the elements. Great <laughs> transition. You see that? Amazingly done. And he's just crawling. There, humbled and broken, I offered myself in the service of whatever would end my anguish. There's that red again. This red has always been behind him. Whoa, the element. Yeah, failure, sadness. What a shot, they keep using his eye like the spiral. Beautifully done. And this is it, man. This is the first time he has like brightness and light and possibility in his life. Uh, he could see a future for himself and potential. Whoa, it was falsified. What? He was denied. He was denied, wasn't he? The elements Not worthy. Abandoned me. 
Yeah. Not worthy of them. That's Troy Baker? No way. In their absence, other voices whispered. Yep, that's the voice of his favorite drink, isn't it, guys? Whoa. They come to me to offer a gift. What? In return, I would become the harbinger of their fury. Yeah, e even the forces of nature How rejected him. You return here. So you sad. May never rejoin your people. Wow. My people. Temptation. I have no people. Oh no. Unlike Kagdar, he he gave in, didn't he? Grovel for a place in this world. Instead, I would forge a world wow. that would grovel before me. Thank you. Yeah, that's the one. Really, that guy actually helped him too. Man, what a terrible person. But he was made that way by his environment. No one living has heard of Un the village of my birth. Unfortunate. Oh, and what a no shot. Ever will. That's him now. Wow. <laughs> wow. That last shot was. Icy man. Oh my god, look at that. That silhouette, like the greens moving I across the silhouette. Terrifying. No ever will. <laughs> that is cold as ice, man. Wow. I love that. I love that. Simple but effective, man. This one, this one was more simplistic. But just hammering home amazing visual concepts. Um, yeah, just burns them all. I, I thought it was fantastic. Let's break it down. Let's look at it in detail. There's a few things I definitely want to look at, including those eye shots. That I think were the strongest in the spiraling. That was really, really cool. Um, like I said, if you guys are enjoying our time together, make sure to subscribe. This is awesome. Um, I'm having so much fun going through all these cinematics with you guys. If you're watching this later on a YouTube video, this is actually from a live stream on the channel. Uh, everybody in chat is chilling here, uh, talking about it. It's so much fun. I love doing these guys uh, with you guys live because we get to chat about it and you guys can tell me about the lore and everything. So make sure to turn on those notifications. You want to catch a live stream and uh, be a part of the conversation. Uh, but let's do it. Let's get into this. Uh, as you guys uh, showed me in Discord, thank you everybody who joined again. Uh, this is a this is the Harbinger series, and we're halfway through it now. Loving it, absolutely loving it. Let's go through. So, a couple shots here that I Just love. Um, color, color, color. Man, there's so much color theory going on in these trailers. This one um, is a little bit different in that there's like it's so bereft of color in this whole part. I mean, look at these images. It's just so gray. It's just so drained. There's nothing more I can do for. I think it's definitely uh, Jim's voice, though. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, yeah. It's great. This is interesting, though, that this guy always supported him, and he still just tortures him at the end. Like it's almost like he can't bear to have any more um, uh, just connection with his identity of his past. It's gonna remind him of, of the the sort of torture that he endured. So. Really unfortunate what he did to him. But no, I have always believed there is greatness within you. Seek out the throne of the elements. Perhaps yeah. there you like, will what? find your destiny. Be gone, cripple. Yeah, it's super interesting. Like that guy was that guy was kind to him. This guy obviously is horrible, you know, and has clearly abused him his whole life. And uh, look down on him for his disability. Very you sad. Walk cast out. But it's pretty cool that, you know, this story doesn't really, uh, it doesn't shy away from the fact that, you know, this guy 
isn't like a wholesome character. You know, he was still so tainted by everything that happened to him that he is someone who would absolutely jump at the opportunity for power in that way. You know, so I, I think it's quite realistic. Um, have a good night, uh, fellow mortal. You will understand what it means to have no people. Man, just brutal. And again, like we said in the last one, with Cadgar, look at this image. What does this make you feel, man? What does this make you feel? Look at how small he is. Look at how powerless he is. Um, not only is he struggling to stand because of his condition, look at the size of the gates. And, you know, he's been locked out. He can't stand. He's not going to climb the gates. He's not going to get back in. He's been just completely locked out. He's powerless. Um, it's, a, it's a great painting. You really feel that isolation and powerlessness. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Rough. And he's like setting his shoulder back into place, his bones. Oof. Poor guy. Mockery and dismissal. Yeah, and you feel you feel terrible for him. But that's kind of the twist of this is it's like you feel terrible for him and when he when he goes back it's a feeling of like, oh you want to cheer for him. This is gonna be his, his kinda, you know, his big moment, but then it's like, ah, you took it kinda far, man. You killed the guy that really helped you actually. Because <laughs> he said I've always seen greatness in you. That's that was the weird part about that. You know? Yeah. Alright. But after a T is really good, Aliyah, thank you. Months alone. And again, like, look at this. It's super cool. We're already playing with this idea of the spiral, right? Look at the wings circling him. And then we're going to play with this idea more with his eye. This idea of the spiral imagery, um, which eventually is going to come to a head with the, um, with the spiraling elements, right? It's interesting. Starving. I began to consider that the safety and shelter of a clan might be better than endless suffering. Nothing was... So, I have a question. Was Troy Baker always Gul'dan in the old stuff? I feel like he... Was he? I don't know. Left. Yeah, this shot. So nice, man. Uh, so, so well done. I mean, the sun... The sunset is cresting right over his ear. And you have this incredible... Incredible rim lighting happening, but it gives this like kind of unsettling image. Also, the change in perspective, right? So this image, uh, the camera's been rotated, so it looks like he's standing up. It looks like he's leaning on a wall or something, but he's just fallen down. So it looks like the sun is like vertically in the wrong position. Instead, it's just an abstract image, beautifully, beautifully composed. Again, this was a painting. What does this make you feel? Uh, upon a closer inspection, you'd be like, oh, he's on the ground. Look, he's drooling on a flat surface. He's not on a wall, All right? So it's, it's just really clever. And what happens left. is how the, uh, how the camera rotates there. Nothing was left. <sighs> really good sound design to you on that impact. Troy Baker was always ghouled down and wow. I didn't know that. That's awesome. And again, there's that. Look at how pathetic and how insignificant in the frame he feels, you know. In so here comes the shot. The words of the old shaman pierced yeah. the cold. Seek out the Such an interesting shot, man. Again, it's already evoking the wings, spiraling, and then he sees this kind of uh, monument of statues in his eye. It's a cool concept. It's almost like it's all he pictured, it's all he envisioned, it's all he visualized until he was finally there. He sees it for real. There. Humbled and broken. I offer Here we go. myself in the service of whatever would end my anguish. So that's what Zinni says he he would offer himself to whatever ends his anguish. So he really doesn't care. He's just so, so over it, you know? So over it. It's helpful, man, isn't it? Thank you, Aaliyah. Oh, awesome. Thanks so much, uh, guys. Uh, people are sending Aaliyah some, some awesome stuff in the Warcraft channel on Discord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
list of cinematics and stuff. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, and there it is again. The same red, orange cresting as his body like that. But it's interesting because knowing what happens in this, it kind of makes me think it's like this is, you know, he's always, it's it's always out of his reach, that like natural power, that, that, that pure power. Um, and instead he has to reach for this unnatural stuff, right? So cool. The four elements circling that. Like I said, they're spiraling just like the birds were. But it's cool because just like the birds, it almost feels predatory now. All right, it almost feels uh, like they're going to disregard him. Like he's just food for the birds. He's just uh, someone to be bullied by his clansmen, you know? And there it is, man. That shot. Oh, so nice. So nice. And I love that you can see like the, the little paint strokes of the hair and everything. So well done. And it's cool too because this image is like, it, it, the expression in the eye, you know, without seeing the whole face, really feels like, you know, he's, uh, he's in awe. Like at the beauty of it. He's really shocked by it. That's what's beautiful here. And then, of course, they spiral into one, right? They almost become one stream. And he reaches out. And in fact, that, that might be why he was denied, right? He was so eager. I need this. I'll take this now. Maybe that's why he was denied. It seems like they're actually quite curious about him. But I think what happened was, yeah, more than likely, I think what happened is it kind of sensed the, his heart, like, you know, his, his sort of uh, lack of good in his heart, or whatever you want to say. So I think what happens is that, yeah, he does force himself to touch it, and look what happens. Yeah, they, they, they just, it like turns to ash. It's so, uh, it's so pained by touching him. So it's interesting, right? Yeah, he's, he's, wow, what an image that is. Yeah, he's denied even by the forces of nature itself, right? Yeah, he's desperate, he's selfish, exactly, guys, yeah. Mm hmm Fascinating. The elements abandoned me. How cool is this? The elements abandoned me. And it's like, even the water, the even the water abandons him. You know, it doesn't provide him uh, a drink or anything. It drips right off his face. It also, of course, evokes an image of a tear. Elements abandoned him, and this is water is even leaving him. It's like so clever. And then, of course, but in their absence, great other voices whispered. Yeah, and, and and we know from what he just said, I mean, he's just he's not even gonna listen to the full offer, he's gonna say yes before he even hears it, you know. So I think that's what's, that's kind of what's really cool here is like, it's clear that he does not even care. Did we get the stream of 200 likes? Oh man, thank you guys. Thank you guys, if that's the case. I mean, we gotta be going on, uh, I would say going on, but we're definitely rising towards 29K, which is insane because we hit 28K subscribers on the last stream. Insanity. This is cool too. So I want you guys to look at this image compared to the first one. So on the first image, we had Gul'dan outside the gates, right? So look at this. I'm actually going to jump to it. Look at this image. Beautiful, beautiful image, by the way. So look here. Insignificant, small, powerless. Down the ground, he can't stand up. Now look at this one. Thanks for that follow on Twitch. Look at this one here. It's the opposite. Not only is he facing the gate, he's not cast out, he's through the gate. And look at his posture, he's upright. He's, he's able to move with confidence and purpose. 
but look at that difference again just really really nice uh cyclical nature of this uh of this video just like the spiral so this it's, it's just so cool like the amount of um the amount of planning that goes into these and again this is the subject is in a very similar place in the frame all right so i do think it was intentional and if not it's just a really cool coinciding detail but Shaman's channel, the elements, but they don't really control them. Oh, I see. So he's trying to control, most likely. Yeah. They had come to me Thank you, Abby. To offer a gift. In return, I would become the harbinger of their fury. Cool. Yeah, this is great, too. Dan. How dare you return here? You may never. Man, the voices are just so visceral for the orcs. And this is what I love, the, the snap, because you know this guy was scared. <laughs> the the sound like bully character, we'll call him, you know? You know he was scared because uh, the way he speaks here is not is not the same man anymore. I think that's what's really cool. Listen. I have no people! Just destroy them. I would never again grovel for a place in this world. Cool shot too as he walks past everybody. Instead, I would forge a world that would grovel before me. So why why I think he just like I said he couldn't he couldn't be reminded of his past. I think that's why he destroyed this guy. That's how he gets his staff. Ah, so awesome. What a full circle moment from all the other stuff we've seen. Warcraft 3 and then uh, uh, Draenor. Man, well done. And now that, see that silhouette is one that we know very well of Gul'dan. No one living has heard of the village of my birth. Again, look at this image compared to the other one, right? Where he's he was cast outside the gates. Now he's walking again from those same gates. And it look at it, he's, he's a different man. He's changed. He's got tons of power now. He doesn't, he doesn't need anybody else. Of the village of my birth. And this next part is just, it's crazy. So foreboding. I mean, the the lit, like it just gives you a hint of his shape only, only from the green. Look at that. We'll go frame by frame. Just like snakes across him. Look at that lightning and green, and like that's the silhouette we know from this guy. So that's no. this is this is him in the present now. So it's him just thinking back. Ever will. <laughs> the sound design here. It's so intense. And I love how it's like, ever will, with a punch in, and then boom, darkness on the end. Listen to this, sound design. Editing. Out of the village of my birth. Ready? And no one ever will. Wild. Wild. No one ever will. Kingdoms will burn. Apparently, villages will. <laughs> Insanity. He's such a great villain. Yeah, that's that's a great villain origin story. Definitely unique uh, from stuff I've seen. If you've enjoyed our time together, make sure to subscribe. Follow on Twitter, Twitch. Join that Discord. Uh, the links are all over the place. And I'll see you around town.